We're going live here in Minnesota, JW Solo USA. Folks, this is what I have for you guys. Hey, hey, hey. The Outback fans, the Magnum, Magnum Sign Magnum Energy fans. This is what we're doing, guys. It's a neck and neck, you know. We are almost done with the Magnum. And guys, this is the, the makeover for the Outback Power Energy or Power outback power systems live here at the jw solo usa this is an update on the demolition of the uh outback and the, uh, the command center sorry this is what it is check this out so let me take you back to the board first no i don't have to we come back and talk about this let me take you to the board and see what i've done we are live here at the command center this is how the command center uh looks right now I want you guys to do a comparison on the uh, former board. And if you can go back all the way from my old videos back in five, four, five, five years ago, almost five years. And guys, you can see how I started my entire project or my journey into this building of this entire stuff. But I've been on solo for over almost uh, nine years now here, guys. But uh, never came on YouTube trying to show whatever I can do. But back in the 80s, and uh, when solar was solar, I was already in solar back in the 80s when I used to live overseas. Guys, this is what it is. That time, solar panel, you can buy a $10 a watt on solar. Well, guys, look at this. This is what it is. Check this out. So, what we're going to do here, the, this is the Outback Power Systems, and the Magna Sign Magnum is almost done. Oh. Before I go further, guys, this is what I did yesterday just to do a little um, improvision here and uh, boycott or whatever you're going to do. The short court, that's the word. And I passed this wire here to power just this inverter to see if this inverter is, is a working inverter. Is okay. And guys, uh, it is working. Okay. I can show you by um, turning the power down here, it will see it started pulsing. There you go. See that? So it works. So what I'm going to do, I have to do a power test to see what's the power coming out of this. So I can turn this one off again and uh, try to put a load on it and test it. Since I'm still waiting for the parts to come and complete the entire project here. So that, that don't have to delay whatever we have to do uh, as a team here. Um, I am, I'm just, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled to get this thing done and to make you guys, uh, happy and see, um, what we have here, right here at the command center of the JW Solar USA live in Minnesota. So guys, if you haven't heard, well, welcome. This is what we're going to be doing now. So the Outback's going to have his own makeover. Like I mentioned before the demolition of this system. And this guy is going to be having the part I just showed you out there. And I'm going to be waiting for another, uh, is a flexware for the flexware 500 that looks like a cone that sits right here so that these cables can hide inside there back to the flexware 500 box combiner that looks like just like this, the load center for the outback. So guys, this is what I'm waiting for. It's coming. And I'm going to be starting lining up some of the stuff here the way I wanted it. And because of the Outback has a different way of mounting their product here. And the Outback on that Flexware 500 DC, I'm going to be pasting that charge controller on the side of the Flexware 500. So I'm going to be waiting for the Flexware uh, uh, combine, uh, the nose thing, the plastic that control this thing to get into that. I'll show you in a few minutes how everything runs. Well, guys, this is what it is, and the system is running, and we are doing awesome. I have to come back to this one. I'm reconsidering and trying to get um, the Magnusine Magnum, the uh, the box right here, um, which is the the left, which is the left uh, conduit. So I see okay, I can able to hide these wires. Everything's gonna be right here. And if it fits right there, then this guy is going to stay right here. Or maybe if it doesn't fit, then I can show, I'll show you guys where to put it. But guys, um, so far so good. 
we are doing a fantastic job here at the JW Solo USA. But um, um, this is going to be awesome project. It's going to be really, really, really good. Because I can't be working on other people's system constantly. I cannot take care of myself. But before I get to start helping people, I have to take care of myself first. When I'm strong, I am really have, I have the energy, I have the knowledge of doing anything or everything. I got to start it first at mine. It's not like being selfish because I've been out there doing everything I can do, install everything, whatever, as a business or as a help or whatever, friends. I got to take care of my own now. I got to do myself because I'm getting all this stuff for myself, buying them. And, you know, I have good people and friends and people that really desperately want the stuff and whatever. I can just um, give them a deal and go about it and get them a good deal. So everybody happy. So this is who I am and that's what I believe and that's what I'm doing, guys. You know, it's not like because of business, but it's uh, just the, uh, you know, um, whatever is in me. So, guys, um, I have to build my system. I have to be comfortable with my system. I have to... Be proud of myself, just like like a lot of people, like electrician, contractors, or whatever builders. They set up this massive stuff for people. Then they don't even have time to even fix a plumbing in their house or to do electric electrical part in their house because they're busy pleasing everybody. This is what their nature is, and this is what it is. So it's not bad to help people, but don't forget yourself. So the batteries, see them there here. And all the other batteries in here, they're all happy. You know, my battery bank. You see the Ford Focus and uh, Chrysler Pacific, Pacifica, which is the LG Cam. And look at that. Everything is nice and cool. So, um, guys, I will take you back outside so I can do the completion of the um, uh, narration about the entire project. Pardon me, that sound you just said, the sound effect is from my <laughs> guitar. My guitar just dropped because this was uh, my studio, live studio, uh, recording studio, slash now is a power room command center. So everything is working here. I have to have the power room in here while in my studio as well. I'll give you a quick glance. That's my soundboard right there. It's the 40 channel live board. So... It's wrapped and everything. So, guys, that's my, my that's my recording <clears throat> recording um, uh, thing. It's all the way back there. Just a quick glance. If you want to see that, go back to my uh, other channel and you see uh, about, all about this. I, I'm gonna be posting videos about that too to see all my work. All right, we're back again here. This is the uh, the Flexware 500 DC. Um, this is what we're going to be installing for the um, the outback power systems. So, guys, hey, I don't want to, uh, you know, get you off guard. But this is the thing, okay? Yeah, so I want to tell you everything I'm doing or what I'm going to be doing. Guys, if you see here, these are all the devices that are um, going to be in place for, for the outback. So, I'll zoom that and you guys can see closely. So you've some of you guys already seen um, the uh, the um, the outback, the uh, mate, and um, the the FNDC is in there, and uh, and the um, these other parts here, which I like to show you, um, this is gonna be the uh, let me show you here. This is going to be the communication board, which is the hub. I have two of them. These are just spare um, uh, machines uh, already uh, laying around in my house. There you go. This is um, Hub 4, made by um, Outback. So this is the communication that controls the communication. Like you can plug the... Uh, um, the inverter, your I many you charge controllers you can, but you can take only four devices. You can see they have the hub 10. This is just a four. So you can see that four, three, two, one. So four ports right here. You have the 10, 
version and guys you've seen um, this guy oh there's another one right here there's another one and this is the other one so I have two of them right here always have to have extra if you have the, the opportunity to do that so this guy here is the cover that's supposed to cover the Ethernet cables the Ethernet cables that comes from here and uh, so it can be it can be nice and neat. So it has a little um, dot right here or marble like. Then you can go right there and right there and snap this thing. It looks fantastic. Look, the wires are all underneath here now, so you don't have to worry about exposure. And there's a, a channel right there, and where the wire goes. So this is a great tool. And uh, I have the old. Um, Mate, he's a mate too. So, for um, my inverter, some inverters don't require um, a mate three because I don't grid tight and all that kind of stuff. The mate three got a lot of functionality, but uh, this one can do that too. So, I have this uh, my first one. I got a mate, but this one is required for my um, for my stuff for my inverter, which is. Uh, right there and uh here are the tools some of the other stuff miscellaneous um bunch of stuff so i can able to use this for the shunt shunt one shunt two um shunt three and they have their labels there these are the communication the sense wires so these are the sense wires so guys um this is what it is and uh i'm just working on things um, if I can run you down here a little bit, there's the other machines here. That's the thing. This is the FNDC in there, the FlexNet DC, which is the one that uh, responsible just like when you have the um, the classic, which is like the Wisbank Junior, or on Magnum, which is like the the BMK battery monitor kit is in there now. You guys have seen it, and uh, here. It's going to be my FN, oh sorry, the F, FX80, Flexmax 80. I got two of these. And this is the Flexware 500. And guys, you will see how this thing going to work well um, towards the entire install. So this box, sorry, this box going to be standing this way, vertical. While this charge controller, you can mount it out back, make it possible. So you can able to mount it on the sides of this. It has all provision for mounting like two charge controllers on these. And the flex where I was talking about the um, rubber that comes from the, uh, the cover for the inverter goes in here. That's where the wires comes in that uh, comes from your um your dc your dc input to the charge controller so in here you have all the good stuff and you have a 175 amp breaker here 175 amp breaker i got other breakers here but i gotta swap these ones because and it's also have the arc fault um breaker you've seen this the review if you haven't seen the review go back and check on it and this is not a brand new box but um i got it's a display and these are 70 amperes a 60 here this is the fm60 goes in here so this is a 70 amp uh breaker which i have to swap this one for um 80 amp so i can put this one for 60 or 63 amp it's still fine as long as i don't max out the uh the the, the charge controller so uh, 63 amp here was a 60 can still work so 70 amp here I don't have anything on the 70 I can able to put this one at the um, for, no, it's a, uh, uh, for the 63 but it's gonna be um, 7 amps more so there's not gonna be a protection for that so I can able to add a second inverter here which I can have a breaker right here, which is 175, 175. I can have two of them incorporated right on the corner right here. So guys, it doesn't mean because you have an Outback product, 
and I want to use this for my Magnum. I would have used this because I can put two breakers here, um, DC breakers for the disconnect for each inverter. Okay, I can have uh, two inverters. This made for dual dual mount um, inverters. I can able to do like you stacking them. So this is the deal, and I can just pop this guy and put another breaker here, which I'll think about doing. I'm just trying to get, uh, if everything goes well, I'm going to try and get the uh, a second inverter. And it's always nice to have your stuff labeled and you can tell what's your your PV coming in and whatever systems you think. So you tell them how many amps, short circuits, and your solar panel operating current. And you can see the maximum system, what it is, 136.88 volt DC and you're operating at uh, 86.7 so these are all stickers you can make or use stickers you can get um like i said it's a display model and um you can mount this guy and get the other inverter you have the uh, the flexware 500 the ac this is the flexware 500 dc so you it's right here um guys so you can able to pass the other cable interconnect to the other uh, devices what you have there if you have a stack of them so guys I just decided to show you what I have here for the next project live here at the JW Solo USA guys um, this is what is happening now guys we about to go on the road on for business and get this thing well done and get it done once and for all if I don't change my mind, <laughs> if I don't change my mind, upgrading again to other uh, technology, whatever it is. So, guys, you see, I like to build stuff for you guys to see. And we want to learn, we learn. Well, like and subscribe. Bye. All right, guys, I think now we're going to start making sense to you guys. You see where the odd back is going to go. This is how the board is going to all filled up with machines and electronics. It's going to look good. And this gap right here, I'm waiting for that nose cone to show up. Then it's going to be up here. This is just a preamble or uh, just a demonstration to show you. This is what it is when you took the uh, take this thing off. That's the breaker. And this is what it is inside. Just a big empty box for you to do anything you want. Got some uh, couple of boss bars in there and the shunt in there. It's going to tell you DC, DC positive right there. Okay. So this is how everything, this is the, where you got a big one. You can put the, uh, come with, with a positive cable. See that right there. It's a big one. And you can use the shunt there as the, uh, the neutral. So guys, the cover is right here. I can able to name everything or what I want here. Um, my listing and the wire size is gonna tell you everything here. Okay, so this is what it is, guys. This is what it is. So I'm just gonna I'm just illustrating right now. It's not like it's all done. And uh, this I'm just telling you this is how it's gonna look like. You know, get this bad boy in here see so everything started making started to make sense to you guys and you see exactly how everything is working here live at the jw solo usa and guys thanks for watching and the outback is going to be mounted on the side here um right here oh boy's boy is heavy with one hand it's going to be on the side something of that nature but higher up to this level right here so they have these notches right here it, when you open this out back at the back here so you can pop this one and what that's where the wire goes so you can just go right from this guy right here perpendicular to this and this is what it is then this is what it's gonna look like live here at the command center of the JW Solar USA Minnesota and thanks for watching guys I love you guys and stay tuned for more to come live on this channel if you haven't been a subscriber yet, please subscribe so that we can get along with this project. Okay? Bye for now. Bye-bye.